Honorable Judges, Distinguished Audiences. My name is Isa Syam Probosiwi from 73 State Senior High School, Jakarta. And I would like to invite all of you to imagine. Imagine in the future we live comfortably with our dreamy life. It could be your dreamy job or your dreamy house or your dreamy family. You name it. But in a condition of better environment. Imagine we live well but with a big count of plastic waste. Imagine we live with the impact. It could be flood, dirty water, or the ten environment. Do you still want to live in that kind of dreamy life, risking living with the very bad condition of this earth for the rest of your life? I know you won't. Do you know that annually approximately 300 million tons of plastic are produced around the world? But only 9% of all plastic produced is recycled. The Central Statistic Agency shows that plastic waste in Indonesia reaches 64 million tons per year. A total of 3.2 million tons of plastic waste that is thrown into the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an environmental damage. This is a sign for change. This is a global issue. And this, what I'm going to deliver on my speech, are modern ways to turn plastic into something more useful. As we know, the plastic are hard to decompose. It needs hundreds to thousand years to decompose a plastic. Because it isn't derived from biological compounds, plastic has the property of being difficult to degrade. But plastic, in particular, contain mainly carbon and hydrogen. Similar energy contained with conventional fuels such as diesel. With technological advances in this era, plastic waste can easily turn into something more useful, such as energy. Have you ever heard it's possible to convert all plastic directly into the useful forms of energy and chemicals for industry? It is using a process called, called plasma pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is a method of heating, which decomposes organic materials at high temperature in an environment with limited oxygen. Pyrolysis is normally used to generate an energy in the form of heat, electricity, and fuels. But it can be even more beneficial if cold plasma was incorporated into the process. Cold plasma pyrolysis makes it possible to turn plastic waste into hydrogen, methane, and ethylene. Both hydrogen and methane can be used as clean fuels as they only produce minimal amounts of harmful compounds, such as soot, unburned hydrocarbons, and carbon dioxide. And ethylene is the basic building blocks of the most plastic used around the world. It doesn't end there. Our government is building the infrastructure of waste power plants, or we call it PLTSA. Starting from 2019 until 2022, there are 12 PLTSA that will operate to solve the waste problem in Indonesia. Of the existing of 12 PLTSA development proposals, 4 of them have good progress and are awaiting for finishing this year. Which are located in Surabaya, Jakarta, Bekasi, and Solo. In the other hand, PLTSA uses waste processing technology features that is very suitable to be used in Indonesia. Most of the equipment is made domestically with processing capacity of 100 tons per day of waste. The electricity generated reaches 700 kilowatt hour. There are many ways to turn plastic into something more useful. So, instead of littering plastic, let's throw plastic waste into its place. That way, we already save this world. Ladies and gentlemen, the future leaders, 
We only have one earth and we have to take care of it. If we could stop the increases of plastic waste in this world, why not? If we could save the energy resources in this world, why not? We may be just 20% of the population in this world, but we are 100% of the future. My name is Izashiam Probosivi, and those are modern ways to turn plastic into something more useful.